Hi everyone, I am back with another video. Today I am recreating a look that I did a long time ago. I think I probably did it over a year ago. And I asked you guys if there was any look I can do, I can redo uh, a video that I've done before but you wanted me to recreate the look, which look would it be? And hands down the most votes was for the bronzy smoky eye. I had no idea how many people out there loved this video. So I thought it would be really cool to recreate the look um, with the new camera. Hopefully you guys will be able to see uh, a lot more detail. I can see why you guys like this look so much. I actually really like it too. When I was doing it, I was like, this is such an easy smoky eye and it looks awesome. Guaranteed, if you guys do this look, you'll get tons of compliments. Let me just zoom in so you can see the eyes a bit more. The thing about this look is that it's really smoky, but they're not super dark. So you could wear this during the day or at night, whatever you want. The skin is kept really soft with a bit of a, kind of a bronzy tone for a blush. And the lips, a really soft nude color. Um, yeah, it's really easy to do. Uh, if you guys want to see the original video, the clip is below. It's when my hair was chopped off. To see a full listing of all the products I use, you could go to the link to my blog. And to see how this look is done, just stay tuned. I'm starting with my eyes before I do my skin. The first step that I'm applying is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is what I'm using for my eye primer. This is a nice nude color, so you could basically use this for any eyeshadow that you're using. And I like to just put some on my finger and then just apply it straight on. Focusing on the lid and then blending up towards your brows. Since we are doing shadow along the lower lash line, add a bit of primer along the lower lash line also. first eyeshadow color I'm using is Texture with the 224 brush from MAC. I'm getting this color along my crease area and a little bit higher than my crease. Next color we're using is Swiss Chocolate. This is a nice ready brown. And we're getting this color now more in the crease area, going over that first color we used. Just keep building it. For lid color, I'm using the color Woodwinked. And with a flat brush, just pat this color on to the front part of your lid. And kind of bring it in to blend it in with the other colors that we applied. The great thing about this look is the color combos with all the eyeshadows just go so well together. Take that ready brown color we use, Swiss Chocolate. Now we're going to go along the lower lash line. The good thing about doing your eyes first is that you can clean up any fallout. So don't worry if this looks messy because it will look perfect by the end, I promise. So just keep sweeping that color under your eye to build it. Take a matte black eyeshadow, this is Carbon, and just tap a little on your brush. We're going to use this just for our outer corner to really accentuate that outer corner of our eye. Same thing, you need to build this, so add a little, then keep adding to get the intensity you want. Sweep that color along the outer corner of your bottom lash line. Just really give it that nice shape. As our highlight color, I'm using Brulee. This is perfect for this because it's matte. So it's not going to take away from the other shadows we use, but it will just clean up 
the look a bit. So apply this just right underneath your brows. Okay, time for liner. I am using the Makeup Forever Aqua Black. This one right here. Starting with the top lid. And also tight line your top lash line. Line your waterline as well. The good thing about the Aqua Black from Makeup Forever is that it's waterproof. So if you use this in your waterline, you don't have to worry about it running or disappearing throughout the day. Smudge the brush into your lashes a bit. Smoke this out even more. Curl your lashes, apply mascara, and apply a pair of false lashes if you want. If not, just apply lots of mascara, top and bottom. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. At this point, if you have any fallout, just take a clean makeup wipe. And wipe any eyeshadow that you want to get rid of. For foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD foundation. You want your skin to look perfect when you do an, look, uh, an eye makeup look like this because it will bring out the eye makeup even more. So even just right now, you could see that this side I makeup looks so much crisper than this side. Apply a bit of concealer under your eyes. I'm using the Makeup Forever HD concealer. This will help brighten that eye area and make your eye makeup look even more perfect. Don't forget to sweep a layer of powder all over your face just to set everything. Fill in your brows with whatever product you usually use. I'm using um, MAC Lingering Pencil. This will give your brows a nice strong shape. For blush, I'm starting off with Max Enough Said, which is kind of a golden tone blush, which looks really pretty with this bronzy look. For lip color, I'm starting off with the color Hue from MAC, and I'm just going to tap it on my lip just to get some of the color, but not too much. And next, I'm going over that with the color Giza from NARS. And that's it. That is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recreation of the bronzy smoky eye um, and try it out and make sure you post some pictures on Facebook if you do. I love to see them. The link to my Facebook group is below and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!